Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking all about witches, how they work, the AI, behavior, uh, spawning patterns, things like that, that is going to help you in defending against them and using them uh, to attack, because they're very popular right now, Town Halls 9 through 12. So, very important video I wanted to get out there. Big shout out to all my uh, patrons on Patreon for making this video, as well as all my, my others possible. Really appreciate the support. Wanted to give a quick shout out if you're interested in custom war bases, stuff like that. Link is in the description below. But let's get to the video. Um, Want to focus mainly on the hit points at the beginning here because it's been like this for a while. A giant bomb won't kill witches. So, you're going to have to add a few little bombs to the giant bomb if you want to have a witch destroying thing on the outside of your base and that's where witches are most deadly going around the outside this was a weird thing i wanted to include in the video this clip right here the witch like goes around in a weird way i thought that was unusual so i threw that in here but anyway um this we have a giant bomb and two of the regular bombs and that is enough to kill a witch so you can see she triggers them and just like that boom she's gone uh, that is what you want to have on the outside of your base, um, usually like one or two of them in different locations between defenses. That way if people are using hogs, the hogs will still hit those giant bombs anyway. It's also convenient to mess up the heal spells, having some of those towards the outside. But make sure they're at least between defenses so you still get the value there. Once again, uh, the witch did that. I had, I had a weird problem with the AI. If you, The witch would go around the outside, don't know why. But anyway, um, one little bomb in one giant bomb does not kill uh, a witch. So I wanted to throw that in here in case you're wondering. You have to have the two little bombs with the one giant bomb. That's what it takes to kill a witch. And I think that applies to pretty much any town hall level uh, when you're going against equivalent level witches. So in terms of the range, it's going to be the two tiles between the building and the wall. Um, so just keep that in mind. If we put some cross walls... The witch can still reach even at a bit of an angle, kind of a diagonal here. Um, that's lined up right with the, the uh, last tile in which the defense sits. We can move the wall even one farther, so now it's not even uh, in line with the, the building, and the witch can still reach. So pretty impressive range, not much worse than the Archer Queen. Um, so keep that in mind in terms of the range when you're playing on attacks. That's what she can reach right there. That's pretty much the farthest uh, we'll show one more, which is too far. Now we're sliding over a tile. And yeah, that's that's going to be too much. Um, so you, it's the two tiles, and I think we saw she can go like one over as well. But besides that, um, the witches won't be able to, to reach that far. Um, so anyway, moving along here, let's take a look at something else. Um, imagine that barracks is a like cannon, and imagine the builder hut is a Tesla you want to put spring traps between those buildings, similar to the giant bombs, because spring traps can throw a witch off, which is important, especially with healers. It's hard to kill the witches. We'll see that in a second. So having a spring trap, boom, right there, um, one tile away from the wall. Don't put it touching the wall. Put it one tile away from the wall. That's the best place to get witches. We'll take a look at the replay again. If you imagine these witches are walking around the outside of the base, uh, go down here, um, the inside of it being where the gold storage and everything is. You have the cannon, the Tesla. This time we have real defenses. Um, and you'll see that uh, the best place is one tile out. That's how they naturally kind of stand as they go between buildings inside and outside the base. Um, and of course, the reason we want them between defenses is for defending hogs simultaneously. You don't want spring traps. They're just sitting there not near defenses. You want to get the hogs as well. So put it there. Um, I like between a Tesla and like a mortar or a cannon or an archer tower, whatever's on the outside of your base there. Good thing to do along with the giant bombs. You can have like one or two of each um, in your in your base design. So anyway, I look at the spawning real quick. Um, notice the witch spawns four skeletons, then another four. This is level two witch. Um, so the point is she spawns like half her skeletons first. So if you're dropping a bunch of witches at the beginning, just know they're not going to get the full um, deployment of all their skeletons. So you might want to be more, um, you know, 
safe and bring a tank or something so they have time to spawn more skeletons because they can't protect themselves that well initially, especially if they move forward with only half their skeletons. Uh, the Multi Inferno is very good at taking out witches. You can see in this about how long it takes to take down these witches, and it's not that long. Um, without a heal spell, these witches are gone. The skellies do get the Inferno, but the point is the Multi Inferno takes out those skellies extremely quickly and can get those witches as well. So if you can have it reach the outside of the base, it can really shut down a flank, um, assuming there's no healers, which we'll get to now. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to the healers now. Uh, we'll go ahead and start by looking at kind of a wizard tower versus these witches. And you can see the wizard tower, it took, I don't know, like five or six shots on that witch. Uh, that they spread out too much to both be targeted, but it doesn't kill them that quickly, which is very nice, and the amount of damage the witches do is enough to get through that wizard tower, as you can see there. Now let's um, mix it up here. We'll throw down a single witch and a healer, and you can see against a splash defense like a wizard tower or a bomb tower, uh, it's not going to be enough to um, overcome the healer. The witch is fine with one healer on it, which is why one healer is often a great thing to put on a certain flank if you have like four or three to four witches and there's a bunch of wizard towers, uh, throw that one healer, it can keep them up over the wizard tower. In terms of a point defense, let's see how it works. Keep in mind these are all Town Hall 10 levels, but um, things do not change much at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12 because um, the witch level changes and so does the defense level. Although I guess between Town Hall 9 and 10 there's not a witch level change. But it's, it's similar, and you guys can kind of adjust the math as you will um, if you want to get very precise with your own town hall level. But the main ideas are here. Um, you can see one healer couldn't keep the witch up over a point defense. Two healers can. So that's why we often see two healers on the side, um, because if a point defense locks onto a witch, or even a bowler, whatever is out there, it doesn't really matter, um, the, the defense can't take it out without some help. We have a wizard tower and a uh, archer tower. Put the healers down first. There's the witch. You can see got the splash and the archer tower, and they just can't quite keep the witch up. It lasts quite a while, and typically you'll have more than that on the flank. So that's why you don't want to use more than two healers, because although two-point defense or even a point defense and a splash can, t can barely take out a witch, it it's not going to be often that they'll be locked onto for so long. Um, that the, the witches will start going down. Um, the third healer typically won't make a difference. So two healers is ideal. Here's an attack um, using this that I wanted to show. We'll look at two replays. And uh, the, you want to use the healers, of course, where the air defenses aren't guarding. So as long as they're like one layer deep, that's fine. It's not like using a queen walk because presumably the kill squad will get the air defenses taken out in the middle of the base. So you don't have to worry about the healers wrapping around and coming in range like you do in like a queen walk that goes around the outside of the base. But anyway, um, the healers, nice touch there. There's kind of a bomb tower, maybe some things to worry about. Um, also a giant bomb there. So uh, the healers will heal bowlers sometimes, but that's fine. You know, whatever's being healed is worth it. It's tanking for the witches. Uh, so anyway, a very nice attack. The witches on the top actually came in with the, the main force. But the witches on the outside stayed there, and you can see we have the bomb tower. There's just gradual damage that the witches take that without the healers would otherwise um, eventually take them out. So anyway, this attack finishes up here. Uh, nice attack to Brody, and um, yeah, Town Hall 10. Definitely a little bit easier as we're starting to get into some of these arranged wars and really see how... Uh, the update has affected things because we, you know, after CWL haven't had a whole lot of time to test in competitive, uh, like arranged league type wars almost. So anyway, um, these another thing about the healers, as you can see here, is they allow the witches to really do more and to go all the way like 180 degrees around the entire base. If you're not using healers, don't expect your witches to get much farther than just straight down the flank. Don't expect them to wrap around the base because um, they often start to take damage as they turn the corner on the other side. So keep that in mind. Um, the healers definitely not only keep them up along the side, but even past that, um, the healers can allow them to, to get around and kind of finish off the base if your kill squad, that main force, doesn't push all the way through. 
Okay, this next attack was the like frozen witch strategy. I might make a, a video separately on it. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. But uh, this is a very cool strategy using like six, seven free spells. Um, kind of cool to see. Uh, but yeah, same same type of thing with the witches. So many of them went to the bottom side here with those healers. Crazy. But that's not necessarily a bad thing as long as you have enough to kind of get through the core and because you keep freezing stuff it actually it doesn't take a whole lot to push through especially in a base like this where it's very open lots of room for the skeletons to kind of walk through um, so some nice free spells here you can see the witches making their way along the outside um, both sides still are up here I think on the outside you can see the witches start to get targeted uh, Tesla takes out one at the top there takes out both actually these are things that you know might happen with the healers, but probably not, especially if there's multiple healers up there. So it's kind of a trade-off. You know, healers are not cheap. They take up a lot of troop space. So you got to just kind of use experience, if nothing else, to to ask yourself, is there going to be a difference made by the healers? Because sometimes the healers won't even be enough to save your witches. They're going to die no matter what. Um, so you got to kind of be able to figure that out. And it takes some practice, but hopefully you can kind of use some of the tools you're seeing here to, uh, to identify what the best move is, even if you don't have that much experience with this. Uh, so some nice value from those free spells for sure. Once all the splash damage is down, it's pretty much over because there's so many witches. I think I count, like, eh, fast forward, but like eight or nine witches uh, still up, I think. So luckily that giant bomb didn't go off right there. Anyway, hope you liked the video. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.